Hello, this is Savni and I'm glad you have made the decision to watch the free series which I had to offer. Okay, so I am in my kitchen. I'm going to show you the cookies which are gluten-free, dairy-free and processed sugar-free. So what are the ingredients that are required? Uh, so I use almond flour, then uh, maple syrup, uh, saffron. That's all you need. And let's say if you want to substitute with, um, like, let's say if you want to add uh, carrots or pumpkins, it's all good. And I'll show you how to make that switch. Um, okay, let's let's begin. I believe now you're able to see what I will be doing. So let's get started. Okay, um, so I am using an almond flour which is gluten free okay this is a half cup so let's see um, the funny thing is I have never measured the recipe so this is going to be the first time I'm measuring it like what what's the exact measurement I don't go much with the measurements um, it's just like how the texture looks like how does it taste that is what all matters to me all right so this is half a cup this is definitely less so i'm adding it more um this is one cup hmm, good but let's add a little bit more so this is about one and a half cup um uh, i think this is a good quantity um so the next thing is i'm going to add the maple syrup um the maple syrup this is like half cup you don't need that much uh but let's see how much we need it okay i'm pouring a little bit of maple syrup to it so there is still a little bit left here i'll use it if it is required this is a ripe banana um, to add more sweetness to it. So let's peel it off. Okay, I'm also going to add, this is saffron. Um, it gives a very um, amazing taste to it. I love saffron. So I'm going to add a pinch of it, a few, few strands of uh, saffron to it. Um, Sometimes I also prefer like, you know, overnight soaking in water and adding it. I didn't do it. Um, but definitely if you pre-plan to do it, please do that. I forgot actually. This was pre-planned, but I forgot to um, soak it in water. Which is like an, a little bit of water and saffron strands. Okay, so you could see there are saffron strands in it. And now I'm going to mash, smash uh, everything. All right. Um, I usually prefer smashing it with the fork. Um, So if you see here, the maple syrup actually helps with the binding, like coming together. It actually helps with that. And now as I'm um, smashing it uh, together, you will see like it's still a little bit, um, it's not there yet. You will see that uh, it's a little bit on a liquid side and not really getting combined together. So in this case, I'm going to add a little bit more of almond flour. Um, so let's see. I'll add maybe a half cup more. Or maybe I'll take half cup and I'll keep adding a little by little to see that exact consistency I want. See, it's getting better and better. Um, I don't know if you could see it, but this is the consistency we need it more we need more almond flour to it so i'm adding it more 
a more almond flour. I wish I would not have the maple syrup directly added to it. I would have waited a little bit longer. But anyway, so here it goes. I again took the half cup. So it's been now two cups. And now let's see how much more we need. I'm going to add a little bit more of um, almond flour. It's actually not required, but it's just like, you know, to bind it together. Because um, as we are not using oil or anything, the, this, this part is very, very, very important that it... Um, the the batter for the cookies comes out well because um we are not using butter we are not using oil any refined oil so this is the most important step i would say so this is almost three cups of almond flour has got in here and this batter now looks great Okay, so if you would like to see, this is the consistency of the batter. Okay. Now, I also like to add this. This is one of the batches which you could make. Um, I also sometimes like to add chocolate chips. Um, and I'm going to add it today. So, I have uh, this brand which is... Uh, <laughs> You Kitchen or something like that. I love this brand. I got this from Sprouts. And if you see the ingredients over here, if you could read it, all the ingredients uh, you will find are natural and you could easily spell them. Like for instance, it has organic cocoa, organic unrefined coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is another great place to start with and organic cocoa butter it doesn't have a processed white sugar it has all the natural ingredients so i love this brand there are definitely some more brands um, you could get it from trader joe's from sprouts um, from whole foods but you need to search for them so yeah uh, so let's add a little bit of this um, dark chocolate chips this is their front. Let's do that. The chocolate nips. I love these um, in the cookies, honestly. I might add a little bit more. Here we go. Yes, that's the perfect quantity. And I'll give it a swirl. And it's all good maybe now i'm thinking i need to add a little bit more almond flour okay i'm going to add a little bit more because it's still it's a sticky dough it's not there yet i'm going to add a little bit more half a cup and so the the dough should not be sticky that's the thing you know I mean, it eventually um, releases some kind of water, but when you're making the dough, it should not be sticky. And now it's perfect. The dough is perfect and I'm going to start rolling in. I have this um, baking sheet ready. Um, using any oil or anything to put it on the sheet okay. and you can make cookies as per so if you will see as I'm rolling this balls you will see like there's some natural oil that is falling on my hands it's not sticky it's not sticking on my hands that means it's a perfect dough um, and roll it roll it roll it and 
here you go this is cookie you can make it smaller you can make it bigger as per your choice Now you will see it has started to stick a little bit on my fingers but that's okay it's not too sticky I won't add almond flour here let it stick on my hands I mean to be very honest with you if it gets too sticky like it's unmanageable then I would say like just add a little bit of almond flour otherwise you're good it's not that uh, a big concern and you can make smaller balls like or a smaller cookie size of balls or you can make a bigger one like if you make a smaller right now i think i'm going to make eight cookies you can even make like in um more like 16 because right now i'm i'm adding a little bit more base to it so um i mean base as in if you see the thickness is a little bit a lot you can reduce the thickness there's no issue in that these are about 10 cookies yeah 10 cookies i'm going to put that in the oven okay and i'm going to show you with the remaining dough what i'm going to do it i'll be back by the way watch this is on your hands and if you want to do other cores like now i have to um switch on my oven i what i usually do is i'll eat this and then i'll wash my hands i'll be back <laughs> i'm going to put this in the oven um at 350 degrees so let's bake it probably see there's some remaining dough what i'm going to do with it okay I'm going to show you a little bit more healthier version. Let's say some people want it uh, a little bit more healthier. Then I would propose that we can add any um, uh, vegetable you like. Like for instance, I have here grated carrots. Um, carrots have its own sweetness, uh, just like sweet potatoes, just like uh, um pumpkin so what i have done is um i have not cooked this carrots i've just grated it but um sometimes i'll also um steam them a little bit and then um i'll use it directly but i didn't want to do that uh, you can do that with the pumpkin or sweet potato that um you cook them a little bit and then you can add it but these are the carrots i have grated it and i'm going to add it it is just half a carrot which is uh, which I have created and I'm going to add this now it depends on you like if you would like to be a little bit more sweeter um, then you can add a little bit more maple syrup but mind it that if you add a little bit more maple syrup you will have to add a little bit of almond flour anyway even if we are adding the carrots you will have to add a little bit more of almond flour just to gel it a little bit better so i'm going to add here i'm taking this is a half cup and ta i'm taking half uh, filled so um, it will reduce the sweetness um, but this is a natural the carrot has its own taste and it's sweeter on that front so it's a win-win uh, maybe you can add more chocolate chips which i'm going to do it right now but of course it's a dark chocolate so that's another thing but i'm going to anyway add the nibs and and now we will roll this up i'm going to roll it a little bit um thick in the at the 
edge so that This is a great way to eat your veggies, by the way. <laughs> like, I honestly um, hated pumpkin initially. Uh, but then, I found out how to add pumpkin in a, uh, in a curry. And since then, I have never looked back. Uh, I love pumpkins. Cooked pumpkins, of course. But yeah. I have even tried making pumpkin uh, paratha, uh, it's a bread or um, I mean it's an Indian bread if you get it um, and what I have done, what else I have done with the pumpkins, oh I love pumpkin seeds, um, you can take them out and um, bake them with the spices you like and it it adds a completely different taste so here you go and i'm going to bake this it looks more like an indian tikki but trust me when uh it gets cooked and when you see it, it tastes amazing okay i'll be back i'm putting this in the oven as well and you can probably eat this I love it. Um, I had mentioned about this before, but I just thought to again uh, talk about it. Like, let's say you don't find maple syrup in your area, which is organic. Um, the another great substitutes are date syrup or coconut sugar um, or jaggery. Um, yeah, these are the great substitute. I personally haven't tried with jaggery. Um, I have definitely. Uh, had tried with the coconut sugar and date syrup um, but the taste I enjoy the most is definitely with the maple syrup um, and then with respect to fruit um, oh and one more thing if you can completely skip all this other kind of natural sugars like coconut sugar or uh, jaggery or maple syrup and you can only add bananas even that is okay but you will need more uh, bananas and they need to be ripe so that they are sweet uh, sweeter version you can add mangoes which are sweet and in this way you are completely skipping the you know all this other a little bit processed version of sugars um, processing even jaggery there's a little bit of processing that goes in and um, yeah, these are the great things I wanted to talk about it. The cookies are ready. They are a little bit, I baked it a little bit more. You can bake it less. And these are the carrot ones. And now it's the time to taste them. Here are the cookies and let's taste them. I love it and let's taste the carrot cookie I love it they are soft chewy wonderful so this is it 